What's up guys, Harsh here back in the video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can replace a power button in a smartphone. And for this particular case, I'm using the OnePlus 60. So this will be a very simple process just to replace a power button and I will show you step by step how you can do that. Now before this video starts, I would like to give a huge shout out to Dev Mason, probably that's how you pronounce it, to maintain a very specific number on the likes of my video, which is the dual monitor setup video. So if you haven't seen that video, you should check that video out. But yeah, thanks for maintaining the specific number, Dev Mason. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the power button on this particular phone is actually water damaged so as you can see if even if I not press it all the way in it actually activates the long press feature so you get the power of restart options. So this is the issue and it suddenly presses and locks the phone on itself so that's pretty annoying you know you are just browsing and suddenly your phone gets locked. Now if you are wondering how I got my power button damaged like this so let's see how it got damaged. Okay, so after that pretty self-explanatory video, now let's just turn off our phone over here. And now let's start taking apart and take a look at the power button itself. So at first you have to apply a bit of heat on the back panel of the smartphone. And if you're like me and you like to play PUBG, you just need to play a few hours of PUBG on this with the charging port plugged in and charging. So it will heat up the glue itself. That's not true. I'm just joking. So all you have to just take your plastic tool or something like that and just stick it in the little slit around the frame over here and then just try to lift the panel out of the case. And as you can see, I have probably opened it before. So this is the reason why it's coming apart so easily. But if you're opening up for the first time, it will not come apart so easily. So as you can see, now the back panel is off. Now we can go ahead and start taking out the battery connector which is right over here as you can see with the little screw over here. Now once it's out as you can see it has exposed the battery connector so you can just use your plastic pick again and then just remove it. This is the first step that you do with any smartphone that you op try to open up and then you can just leave it hanging there or take out the battery if you want but I will leave the battery inside just for now. Now let's remove all these screws that are holding this panel over here. So as you can see the, the back panel is off. Now what we need to do is focus our attention on the left side. So as you can see that there are two little screws that are covering up the power button mechanism and its locking thing and you will also need to remove the motherboard itself and that will require you to remove just one little extra screw which is located over here so that way we can access the pads that are touching the motherboard from this area over here so let's remove that right now so as you can see that you can now see the power button mechanism and it's there is a small metal piece that is holding the power button circuit in its place. Now to remove the motherboard just to lift it up a bit to access the pad on the left side you have to remove the SIM tray so let's do that right now. Just like so. Just take it out. And once it's out you can just uh, use your plastic pick again. Now what you have to do is remove the front camera. Just like so because you can see it comes out pretty nicely and then remove this cable over here which is actually the cable for the proximity and sensors stuff like that and once it's out you can just grab the motherboard from any corner you like and then just try to pull it out keeping this cable out of the area and then just lift the motherboard just like so and as you can see it has a bit of a flex to it so it will just pop out and if you want to completely remove the motherboard you can just undo these antennas connection over here and remove these three ribbon cables and then the whole motherboard just pop out. So as you can see now we have our 
motherboard itself so let's keep that aside and take a look over here so as you can see here is our uh, contact pad for the power button so let's remove it but first we have to remove the circuit from over here on the left side so the little metal piece will pop out just like this and then you can use your finger to pull it out just like so and then you can remove the power button if you like to get some more workspace so just place your tool between the circuit and the power button and then just make a bit of a space to grab it and then just pull it out just like so then you have to use a very thin flathead screwdriver to just remove it from its little space on the frame and then it will just pop out just like so as you can see and currently we don't need that so you can just yank it out of the frame if you like but uh, I like to do things gently so I will just take it very slowly out just like so and as you can see we have now our power button removed from the OnePlus 60 so as you can see this is our new power button and thankfully it comes with some double sided tape pre-applied to it so the installation process should be pretty simple now a small step that you have to do is just uh, make a little bend on the contact side so just bend it just like so as you can see very gentle pressure is required otherwise you will break the circuit so as you can see just like so I have created a little bend over here so this way the contact portion will fit perfectly on the side and then just try to fit it in the area as best as you can now once it's secured in place all you do is just to make a little bend on the other side so it's a bit hard to do it once you have placed it inside the phone but uh, let me just try to do it over here so as you can see just like so you can bend this inwards and just try to make a perfect fit out of this now once the button in place you have to take your power button piece over here and then just slide it into the three slots and it will go, on, go only in one way so you cannot mistake that so once you are happy with your fit you just press it a couple times and see if the there is any clickiness or if the button is being pressed or not so in my case the button is being pressed so I am happy with my fit now let's close it up so you take your metal locking piece and then just put it like so and then just tuck it in just like that and then just press it inside the case with the help of a bit of tools just like so and once it's in place again try to click the button and if it's being pressed then you have done it the right way and if it's not being pressed then you have to go back and take it out and do some adjustments now from this point on all you have to do is just undo all the steps of the screwing and unscrewing part so just put all the things back together and if you have the tendency to forget where you put the what things so it will be a good idea to follow the simple step or just placing the battery again on the case and then your motherboard and make sure you do not tangle any wires in the way and then just plug it, everything in and once you have put back everything together just uh, apply a bit of pressure on this side of the motherboard so that way the contacts are touching the pads of the power button so just press it in and then just try to power it on and if it powers on that means your phone has now been successfully replaced with the functioning power button and from now on you can just screw everything back together and enjoy your day so once it's all done you can just place your black panel onto the case again and you will need to use some more double sided tape for perfectly sealing the case with the body but uh, 
I don't really mind it because the glue on the case and the panel is strong enough for the holding purposes and it's been in water a few times so I will not try to do that again. So hopefully this video helps you a lot. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.